You're about ready to enter the Campbell Track Greenbelt area. It is full of wildlife and it is the highest bear population we have that's close to you. If you guys are going to stay safe, the best way to stay safe is stay with us. That's the best way because bears don't ta attack groups of people. And in fact, bears don't attack groups of people in three or more. So if you're in a group of three, you are probably the most safest thing around because to a bear, you look like a big, old, ugly centipede. Mm -hmm. If you are away from our group by accident and you get confronted by a brown bear, do not back up. Don't take one step back. Even if you have a weapon, it is probably the even worse thing for you to do because if you step backwards with a weapon trying to get time to do this and now you trip, the weapon goes off, you don't get the shot off, and an anim the animal can run 35 miles an hour, he's going to be on your groin before you get a chance to say stop, okay? We don't curl up with a ball on our sides, we don't do this anymore. When you're on your side like this right here, the old technique, only thing protecting your face is this arm, a bear's paw moves at 150 miles an hour, okay? So the first time it hits you, that's going to come off, and right quickly after that, your face is exposed, you're going to lose half your face, it's called a degloving injury. What Clint was showing is we go flat, straight, down on our stomachs. Flat down, bury your face into the ground, spread your legs slightly apart so that you don't get rolled over by the bear. And if you're smart enough to cover the back of your head first with your dominant hand and then cover it with your non-dominant hand like this, that way when he bites in the back of your head, which inevitably he's going to do, because that's what they do with each other, he will crush your non-dominant hand first. We are hoping that your good hand now is left over. Is there a chance for you getting attacked? Yes, that's why we teach this. Is there a high chance? Infinitesimally not. But this is the briefing we give people every time they visit us.